Good evening, everyone. You are watching On Camera, and I'm with Mike Biro. I thank you for religiously watching the program every Saturday night at 9 on Channel 23. And we are also on YouTube and Facebook. And you are welcome to send me a friend request so you can be part of the uh, program. Uh, as you all know that the election time is over in Haiti, and we have... Uh, a new president, an elected president now, who is Michel Martelly, uh, whom, uh, who defeated uh, Mrs. Maniga in the second round. The country is in such a condition that even though the election time is over and the, uh, the amount of work that is waiting for this new administration is uh, uh, tremendous, is outrageous. And uh, this is the time that all Haitians need to come together, uh, put everything aside, bury the hatchet, and everyone to be friends again. Uh, whether you were a part of the old administration or the administration that comes before, and now this is the time that every Haitian has to put the country first and really think about the reconstruction uh, process. Uh, this is a difficult journey that the president is about to embark in. And as he mentioned in his speech, uh, in his speeches, when he was uh, running his campaign, he said that he alone can't do the job. And he needs the participation of every Asian, whether you are in or outside the country. And this is the first time in uh, the political history of Haiti that we have had uh, an election that is that was based on on technology. Uh, whether that the Haitians that are living outside the country weren't able to physically vote to cast their vote, but yet they were able to motivate uh, other people that are in Haiti or even every Haitian around the world, they were somehow partaking the election, uh, um, the, the election t uh, time in Haiti. Uh, we also have uh, the team of Martelly uh, who was celebrating you know, Michel Martelly's victory in New York, along with uh, T. Vice at SOB's in New York. And the uh, Martelly teams of Boston also took the opportunity to go to New York to join with the uh, team of uh, Martelly's from New York uh, so that they can celebrate, you know, the Michel Martelly's victory. As I said that, uh, in Facebook, all over the internet, you have seen the participation of every concerned Haitian who is uh, willing this time to put their hands together so uh, for the betterment of Haiti. And I cannot stop to stretch the fact that it's going to take uh, the strength of all of us uh, behind this new administration who is eager to um, embark in this odyssey in order to uh, bring Haiti back to the track of uh, development. Um, from watching on camera in uh, the past shows, you had the opportunity to see in uh, what state that Haiti has become. Um, for instance, uh, I am from Samak, and uh, you can see from the images and on camera in the way or uh, at the level that the country really has stepped backward. And I can't imagine uh, the country being in such a, a state. And we ought to really uh, be conscious and uh, to actually not say but to actually do to go to haiti uh, by traveling to haiti and that will also uh, help 
within the development, you know, the reconstruction of Haiti. Um, the Haitian soccer team was here in Boston last weekend to uh, face uh, Harvard University over in Cambridge at the stadium. Uh, it was a soccer game where the game was tight and uh, they went to Penal uh, where the Haitian uh, won by four, uh, four to one. And it was amazing to see how many Haitians who were there to really support their team. And we felt a sense of pride uh, to see uh, the level that the team really was uh, playing against uh, Harvard University. Uh, knowing the conditions in which that they are training and uh, the political system that surround uh, everything in Haiti uh, makes things much more difficult. I mean, we know that the Harvard University team, uh, they have been well prepared and uh, the situation over here is totally different from the one back home. And we were very happy, we were very grateful uh, for their performance and uh, also to be there to show our support and uh, that we really would like um, Haiti at one point in time in the future to be in the, every tournament, whether it's the World Cup or either um, uh, the Olympic, so that we can represent. Haiti was at one point in time in the Caribbean the first in tourism, but it is not a surprise to see now that uh, we have fall way behind and we, we have fallen way behind and uh, we really need all of us right now really to uh, bring Haiti back to the track of uh, you know um, going forward so that every Haitian can feel a sense of pride when they say that they are from Haiti. From Haiti. And once again, that uh, on behalf of all the Haitians, uh, I would like to thank uh, Partners in the Health who made the, the game possible in order to, um, in, in order to uh, get money to build some hospitals in Haiti in uh, different parts of, uh, of the island. Uh, so again, uh, you're gonna be able to see little clips of uh, the game that went on between Haiti against uh, Harvard University in Cambridge at the stadium. Um, e the reconstruction of Haiti, like I said, is, uh, is going to need the support of all Haitians and other to go forward and I uh, I am very grateful to have the opportunity to listen to uh, radio signal FM uh, on a daily basis with a series of professionals who are part of the team of radio signal FM and if you haven't had the opportunity yourself to listen to this uh, popular station in Haiti who work together in collaboration with uh, other Haitian radio stations uh, around the world. And uh, you can uh, log in the, uh, in the internet to uh, radio, uh, I think it's Signal, Signal FM Haiti, and uh, you will be able to click to listen to the radio uh, where you will be uh, and form of what is going on in Haiti. Uh, again, like I said that, uh, knowing the political situation in Haiti, especially during the election time, how it was very difficult for all the um, radio personalities to be able to convey uh, the uh, messages that, you know, all the electoral votes, you know, when there was, um, you know, massive fraud in Haiti, uh, not everyone, uh, behind the microphone in Haiti could really express 
um, their their feeling. Except the most intrepid intrepid radio announcers who are truly able to express their feeling. Uh, we have, uh, for instance, a, uh, a show from uh, basically a segment from Radio Signal FM with uh, Bob Lemoine and his wife, Wally Bell, uh, every Tuesday morning at 10.30 to 12.30 or 1 o'clock. And it's, the show is like on Tuesday, it's on Thursday and Friday, same time. Uh, I would encourage you to listen um, to to the uh, uh, show on those days, the, the aforementioned days. And uh, we have uh, Dr. Harrison NS, and uh, we have uh, uh, who has a show every every night. Uh, I believe it starts uh, at nine o'clock or from eight to to twelve. And we have uh, Franz Exantus and also uh, Gérard Lucien. And I'm talking about a radio that, that has, you know, professional people and people that can bring important information and to you and also that, and that can educate the whole population. And basically this is what we need uh, in this new administration. We need programs uh, whether it's on television or radio, in order to help with the education of the people. I mean, like, the literacy level is so low in Haiti, and, and we need to employ or to use all kind of methods in order to speed up that process to educate the people so that they can be up to date. And uh, I have really good projects in mind that I can also uh, part, you know, be part of this uh, new development, in the, the reconstruction process of Haiti. And I will encourage every Haitian who has uh, skills, uh, who is a professional, if you can uh, uh, really volunteer some of your time or in, in order to give back to your country, that will be uh, very appreciative uh, by every Haitian. And this is uh, something patriotic. Uh, it's a civic duty, if you will, that we all need to somehow find a way to put our hands, you know, in the dough. So um, I'm going to leave you with um, the interview that uh, Haitian Jeunesse has uh, conducted with the football players, I mean the soccer, the soccer, Haitian soccer team in Cambridge at the hotel. And if I were to give my advice to the new elected uh, president, who is uh, Monsieur, Mr. Michel Martelly, I would uh, say that may God be with you in the, uh, in your endeavors and, and and the uh, this difficult journey that you are about to partake, and the uh, Boston uh, team of Martelly is right behind you, and uh, I assume that every Haitian is going to support you. But the my advice to you is really to um, stay in touch with the people, uh, be as honest and transparent as you can be. And uh, we also believe that there will be opposition, uh, there will be people in the administration that will uh, hinder your effort to do well, uh, to do positive things. But by your being honest and keeping in touch with the people, we, the people, will see, we will see uh, who really the enemies are the ones that will prevent you from doing what you have to do in order to bring the country back to its feet. I'm with Mike Biddle, the only one. Stay tuned. We have more to come in on camera until the next time. And uh, on camera, of course, we'll be in Haiti for the inauguration. I'll see you.
we thank you for watching the program and we also need your sponsorship if you wish to sponsor us so that we can also we can always bring you interesting and important informative shows so you can either call us at the number that you see on the show good night Wherever there is liberty, we'll be there. Wherever justice is needed, we'll be there. Wherever there is action, we're right in the middle. And wherever the entertainment is, we'll bring it right to your TV set. On camera, we'll take you there.